What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where we are testing out the Wall Wrecker versus every single defense in the game. How strong is it? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all of my Clash of Clans videos. Starting off here, we have the Wall Wrecker versus the Cannon. This is the maxed level Wall Wrecker. All of the defenses in this gameplay are also max level from the developer build, but you did know that the Wall Wrecker had that little bit of a nerf. Do you think it deserves even greater of a nerf? Flying through the cannons there, no problem. Let's move on to the Archer Towers now, guys. Now remember the Wall Wrecker, it is designed to try and help tank your troops and to house them clan castle troops as well. In these scenarios, we do just have the Wall Wrecker by itself, no clan castle troops. As with the cannons, it is plowing through the Archer Towers, certainly going down in health a little bit easier. But as it moves on to their max level walls, you can see only three hits were required and it does take out two layers at the same time. Now I think it is going to struggle more so with the Expo and you can see all three of them slamming into that Wall Wrecker all at the same time. Level 3 Wall Wrecker, remember even if you are a Town Hall 10 you can get this donated. It will help your strategy massively. That's pretty much doing the role of a Golem there but the Expos do indeed take it down pretty easily to be honest. Moving on to the air defense and the air sweeper, we know this isn't going to do anything but I have put the giant bombs and the regular bombs in there as well just so we can see how much damage they do. So the air defense goes down pretty quick, giant bombs surprisingly don't do too much damage as with the regular bombs and the air sweeper only takes a couple of shots. In comes the skeleton spells, how much damage will they chip away? Did the wall wrecker just run over the skeletons? They got fried, no problem. I think we need to review that, guys. Let's test out the Skeletons versus the Wall Wrecker. So here we are. As it comes in, we have them spaced out this time so we can see exactly what happens. There we go. It runs... So actually, I think they got in the way as it swiped through for the wall. Interesting stuff. If the Skeletons get in range of that Wall Wrecker as it's pounding into that wall, they will go down and it will do damage. Let's move on though to the regular Teslas. Now the only defense we cannot test against is the Giga Tesla. Now that's because the Wall Wrecker is attracted to the Town Hall and it will blow up once it reaches the Town Hall so we cannot test it against the Giga Tesla but with the regular Teslas they do pretty high damage but obviously they have quite low health. You could see how the Wall Wrecker was able to target multiple of them as well because they are only one tile in space. No problem to take down every single one of the Teslas. Now we have the Wizard Towers. Let me know down in the comments which defense you think will be the strongest against this Wall Wrecker. I am clearly going with the Single Target Inferno, but you can use that Freeze spell in order to stop it. The Wizard Towers do require quite a couple of hits here, to be honest, but they really don't do any damage onto the Wall Wrecker. You don't have to worry about that. However, again, in a realistic base, you would have multiple defenses shooting onto this Wall Wrecker but you'd also have other troops in behind it. Use it as part of that skill kill squad. Get your heroes in there as well in order to take down some of them buildings. Now, just before we move on to the Inferno Tower, let's quickly show you the Bomb Tower and the Mortar because this is the War Wrecker versus every single defense here at Town Hall 12, max level. But obviously, these ones aren't going to do much difference. Let me know what you think the best attack strategy is at Town Hall 12 and also what your favorite part is of the new Clash of Clans update. Into the Inferno Towers. The multi is first. We can be quite assured that it's not going to do a lot of damage onto the wall record, but it would be shooting multiple troops. It does require quite a few hits, and you can see another example here of how the wall record can actually hit two targets as long as they're only one tile away, or they one tile in radius anyway, taking out the wall behind it as well. However, single target inferno is next, and I think it's going to struggle irrespective of where we put it in it's going to struggle here guys but in it comes wall wrecker versus the single target inferno as it 
chimes up and does that extra damage. Really not going to be able to take it out, but remember that free spell might be able to help you maybe pop some troops in there as well to tank that single inferno so you can come in behind it with them extra troops. Now the final defense before we move on to the heroes is the eagle artillery. We've already activated it with some barbarians and in it comes onto the wall wrecker. Now as you can see it doesn't do a lot of damage so if you are going to be using your wall wrecker at town hall 11 or 12 you could use it to tank that eagle artillery maybe if you're using it in a secondary phase of your attack not necessarily a kill squad it could be a very good troop in order to tank that eagle artillery for you as it gets onto it obviously the eagle artillery is quite high in health so it is going to take quite a few shots from the wall wrecker in order to take it down but that it will do because there are no defenses shooting at it now let me know down in the comments were you the lucky subscriber that claimed the final gift card giveaway indian android gift card let me know down in that comment section and leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed this one it really does help out the channel guys let's move on to the heroes starting off with the barbarian king now the wall wrecker the siege machine does not target troops it will beeline itself to that town hall so it's going to get battered over and over again by that king but i don't think the king has enough time here it's too slow gets that final blow or so he thinks but that was the town hall in fact that took it down we now have the warden now the grand warden we all know it's pretty shoddy on defense i don't think it's going to do anything to this wall wrecker it is indeed going to power through it then we'll move on to the final defense saving the best till last guys we thought the single target inferno was impressive let's try out the enemy archer queen versus the wall wrecker again let me know your favorite defense down in the comment section your favorite attack strategy at town hall 12 and what you thought of this video as the queen comes in she's a lot quicker than that king she is going to be able to take down that siege machine no problem and that will wrap up this video i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out